Hello, my name is Cyrus Namazi, Vice President, Domain Name Services at ICANN. There has been a lot of discussions recently about the topic of name collision. Today, I'd like to highlight for you some of the resources that we've pulled together and discuss with you some of the more commonly asked questions and provide some of the answers for you. What is ICANN doing to address this issue? After extensive examination of the domain name collision, ICANN has published a report for IT professional titled Name Collision Identification and Mitigation for IT Professionals. This report provides a detailed analysis of the nature of name collision and provides potential uh, steps to be taken to mitigate the possible consequences of name collision in a domain name space. What is the primary focus of this report? This report calls on the operators of private uh, domains to investigate their own private namespace and to determine whether they're submitting invalid queries to the root. What are some of the report's recommendations? What we're doing is a call to action to the operators of private networks to take the following steps. Investigate their internal namespaces to identify whether they're submitting invalid TLD queries to the root. Assess whether these queries pose an unacceptable risk to their organizations. And determine how they will mitigate the risk. So if you have a fully qualified domain name in your private space, more or less you're safe. That the chances of uh, name collision actually impacting your network's operations is quite slim. However, if you don't have a fully qualified domain name implemented in your network, there is a set of uh, comprehensive steps that the report highlights that we recommend the network operators to take. And they're as follows. Monitor name services. Compile a list of private TLDs or short, unqualified names that you use internally and compare the list you create against the list of new TLD strings. Formulate a plan to mitigate causes of leakage. For example, you may need to change the root of your private namespace to use a name you've registered in a global DNS, or change the affected systems over to fully qualified domain names. Prepare your users for the impending change in name usage by notifying them in advance and or providing training. Implement a plan to mitigate the potential collision Continue to monitor old private name usage as well as new fully qualified domain name usage at name servers and along your network perimeter. And use this data to mitigate any causes you may discover once you've begun mitigating leaks. However, a long-lasting solution to eliminate the potential issues arising from name collision in a private namespace comes from implementing fully qualified domain names. And there may be other makeshift solutions that some network operators may opt to implement. But in the long term, a fully qualified domain name is the way to go to prepare your network for the future and in the long term and for all the new TLDs that are yet to come. Where can I find more information? For additional information, point your browser to ICANN.org, click on Help, and then click on Name Collision where you'll be taken to another page with additional resources for you to use. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope this information has been helpful for you.